When we think about transformation and what that looks like, we, we know and believe that the people that can transform these systems are the people that have been through these systems. Nobody has better answers, nobody has more urgency. We do core watch and core accompaniment, which basically means walking with people through their court cases, letting them know that they're not alone. A lot of times I think people feel like they have to go alone through this like monster system, right, all alone, and I think that feels really intimidating. The court watch program is addressing what has been forced upon us, which is the intermingling of the immigration system and the criminal justice system. We started to go to court and watch and bring advocates with us and bring community members with us and bring and attend court with folks who had no idea what was going on. So we have since have a weekly court watch program that is to hold everybody accountable. Some of the political impacts of the Court Watch program is that attorneys and judges have indeed noticed. They know that they're being watched. Uh, we are very visible about it. Something that's really important to us is like the testament that we're still here uh, and we have like fought for ourselves to be here. Sometimes just letting people know that you can actually fight and be here and like, hello, we are the proof um, is really important. I think for us, a best practice has been don't just tell people it's okay to go to court and pay your ticket. Go with the person and like show them it's okay to pay your ticket and then ask those people to like pass the word to other people and help them do it themselves. We ourselves are a resource um, and we we accompany people, right? So I think a lot of times the transfer of information, right? Like you have a, a know your rights document, but then the moment that you're in front of the police and it's just you and the police, all of those know your rights uh, sometimes just go out the window because fear overcomes that. But if you know that there's somebody that you can come, that you can lock your, for instance, in the car, you can lock your door, you can call and somebody will be out there in five minutes, it's a very different dynamic, right? So I think definitely the best practice, the best advice, it's like, don't just give people information, don't just give them a paper, be there.